it's a skull for a mid-century style shop at mid-century that style. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm happy. <laughs> it's the start <laughs> of the bedroom remodel project. Yes, it is, my friends. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> well, the last time was the mirror project. And remember I told you I wasn't sure anymore? <laughs> well, yesterday... I went on a Nike a shopping spree and I found everything I needed for the first part. <laughs> so I thought, hey, let's give it a go. <laughs> Here we are in my empty be bedroom. So this is the introduction to a big project that's going to be divided in different parts. This is the first part. We're going to do this wall here. And I'm going to tell you where we're starting from <laughs> and where we're going. <laughs> When I bought the condo, it wasn't like this at all. There was stuff on the walls. And so I took it all off and I, I re researched a lot <laughs> and realized that this wall originally was <laughs> a diamond shaped wood wall <laughs> with wood, wood planks. And in the middle, there was a mirror. <laughs> Very strange. I decided not to mess with it. I had drywall put on it and paint and all white. So I have a blank canvas to start from. Here we are. So this wall is going to be curtains. Why? <laughs> because the idea is to make something dramatic with vertical lines and have light on top that's going to glow down on it. So we're going to achieve the vertical lines on this wall with beautiful curtains on the whole 12 feet. So the whole curtain wall is going to help with uh, light, sound, and heat. And this wall, we're going to achieve the vertical lines with wood slats. Why? <laughs> That's because last year on the corner here, they built a beautiful brand new house. And on the outside, uh, the facade is a, a wood wall in slats and the space in between is black. It's just gorgeous. It really looks like the inside of a mid-century home in the living room or, you know, those beautiful walls. They did it outside, but here we're gonna do it in the bedroom. <laughs> so we're gonna have a wall of vertical wood and a wall of vertical fabric. Then we're gonna put a molding on top of those two walls with lead light strips going all around and that's going to glow down on these lines. It's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> Very elegant, I hope. <laughs> and to make the effect even more dramatic, we're going to paint this ceiling dark brown. And this wall? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to be a big wardrobe with mirrors, so that it makes the room bigger. And, you know, <laughs> mirrors is fun in the bedroom. <laughs> so, well, now I might change the idea, my, my concept, but... For now, we're going to leave that alone and have fun with the rest. <laughs> this will come one day. So for today, I'm going to do the curtain wall. It's going to be quick and easy, so it's not a big thing. But first, I'm going to pick you up and show you the bedroom, my blank canvas. Well, remember those nightstands? That's a little project you can look up. They're made from IKEA storage units and they have cute meat century legs. You remember those lamps, there are two projects with those lamps and I put them back in their original state so you can see where my concept started from. This is the big wall that's gonna get the wood slats. Told you about, I removed the bedding so it's not in the way. And this is the wall that's gonna get 12 feet of curtains <laughs> to make it uniform. And this lamp is, the floor lamp here is part of the, this collection. And this one is not done yet, but it's coming. I have a few ideas to make it a little bit different, but similar. This is a beautiful chair. I bought at Revivals. It's a thrift store, but they sell brand new furniture. And actually, this is one of the first things I bought. And here, well, we don't know. We don't care for that. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. So these are the curtains that I bought. It's called T-Best from Ikea. I looked up all the curtains they have. I want a blackout. They don't do white. So I went with light filtering instead. And the reason I chose these is because they have a gorgeous texture. It's very elegant. It hangs beautifully. It's more heavyweight. It looks amazing. It was the best choice. Now for a nice pleated effect, you need to count at least two, three times the width you need. 
So I have 12 uh, feet of wall. I got four pairs for eight panel and I chose Ikea drapes because you don't have to sew anything and I'm using the rail system. So make sure you gather everything that's recommended, all the tools you need and have a little container not to lose anything. A little trick, gather all the basic tools you have just you, you don't have to run for them. I looked at the plan and I realized we're gonna do this setup with multiple rails connected. So I folded it, put it on the wall if you can, so it doesn't get in the way of your workspace. I'm going to open these. Okay, two parts, one in with the hook. I've already put the end, so. I'm gonna put these in and that's just to test it out. So these are my, my curtains and they all have this in the back if you want to insert a pole, but the effect I'm aiming for is more something like that. And to achieve this, you just put hooks on and you choose the little slots that are three slots on each side, put it in and it makes a little like this. And here is the rail. I've already ins inserted the little hooks. They float around, okay? And I've put the end on and at the other end, just because I wanna test it out by hand and hold it over there to see how it comes down. And because those shutters are not original, they're a bit thick, you see? So I need to figure out how much I need to space it from the wall, because we're gonna hang this from the hair, the rail from the ceiling. So this is what I'm doing. And once all of this is done, I'm going to uh, put it on a stand <laughs> and do a little time-lapse of the whole installation. So I'm about halfway through. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I realize I will have to wash them and iron them. But I'm still, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> I bought four, uh, four sets, four pairs. That makes eight little panels. And I wanna make sure it's not too much or it's not too little. So I'll do the whole thing. Then once I'm happy and everything is finished, I'll take them down remove the little hooks, <laughs> wash them, iron them, put them back. It's done. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I realize I'll have to cut them down. <laughs> Let me show you. Here, that's why you will need to cut them down. And you do this with a little Ikea strip that they sell that you just iron in. And that's the look of it. I'm really happy. <laughs> it's incredible. Here's the whole thing. So, <laughs> let me put you back. <laughs> well, this is it for now. <laughs> I'm a bit exhausted. I look awful. <laughs> it took the whole day. <laughs> and well, until next time, don't forget to go to midcentury.style. The next steps are going to be the other wall, the moldings, the light, the ceiling. <laughs> until then, well, ciao. <laughs>
And if you just hang it here to dry, it won't look good. You'll have to take it down anyway. So I was very creative and I designed a temporary drying line in my living room. <laughs> I put two fans at max speed. It took six, seven hours. It was a pain, but it's done. And once they dried out, <laughs> I started cutting my first, you know, panel. So I hooked it up uh, temporarily because the first one I need to know. So I decided on four, five inch excess. I made a little cardboard measure so it's easier to reproduce everywhere. Neat, huh? <laughs> but, <laughs> well, look what happened with my second panel. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's too short. So I got scared. <laughs> I took all my panels down on the floor and I realized none was the same. There was no two exactly the same. And it scared out of me. And so I had to find another way. That's how I decided to, I will iron them. I will hook them up and install them here. And I will needle them down to make sure that every panel fits the previous one. And I decided since they were ironed, I didn't have to take them down. I just had to put it here, put the hemming tape, cut, just iron a little bit in case I made some, you know. And there you go. That's how I did it. But all this took about 45 minutes for each panel. So maybe this you need to plan ahead. <laughs> and well, lastly, <laughs> I didn't think of measuring how, how much fabric I have. <laughs> But, you know, 57 inch wide times eight is 38 feet. But the I mean, tape package is 33 feet. So at the end, uh, this is my last panel and I don't have tape to do it. So <laughs> this too, you might want to plan ahead. And that's why I decided to do this. I hope it helps. <laughs> well, that's it. That's really it for now. <laughs> In the meantime, don't forget mid-century.style and ciao.